Okay, this is a pedal uh, from California, one of our clients. You see the uh, classic uh, orange dirt they got down there. One pedal was hit really hard and bent, but I'm gonna use his as an example to rebuild. Okay, first you grab a screwdriver. Put a little tape on it so you don't scrape the outside of the body unnecessarily. Pull off this poodle clip. Use your screwdriver, but protect it because these things fly off so fast, you'll lose them. Now, we just released the first disc. This is a uh, hollow disc that actually entombs another poodle clip underneath the first. So you gotta pop off the other clip. There we go. Clip is off. Now you should be able to lift up the last washer. So there's one last washer there. Put a little pressure on the spindle and lift it up. Now what you gotta do, there's two seals either side here. Now, on the outside we have Teflon, and on the inside we have, um, oh, one fell out, <laughs> rubber. So you grab a little tiny, uh, whatever you want, big pin, doesn't matter. Just gently reach inside to the bushing, and it should pop out two seals. There's one seal. Actually, the uh, second one's down on the base here, so that's fine. So, go at the top here, pull it the same. There's one seal, because the other one fell out. This is right there. Now you grab your axle, and you just uh, wiggle off this little Teflon ring. Get that off. Now, we just gotta do a little bit of cleaning. I did have, there it is. Just grab your axle and rub it down. Keep it nice and uh, clean here. Make sure you get everything off it. This one's got a little bit of debris in the uh, ring, but I'm not too worried about that. It's just gonna fall off there. Oh, came out. So you put the axle in there. You grab your uh, pedal body. What you wanna do is grab a cloth and just get rid of all the debris. Now, normally what I would do is just wash or soak the uh, pedal down, just kinda a mild degreaser, just soap and water really but today I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so all I care about is the uh, insides are clean. So get all the gunk and grease and crap that kind of uh, gets stuck in there. Make sure it's clean. Inspect your bushings, these ones are 100% fine. And we're ready to go. So, sorry for the noise in the background. What I'm gonna do is just grab the axle. And I'm gonna just spray it down with some tri -flow. A little too much, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so, get rid of that. Let's put it in here. You guys are gonna have to use a vise of some sort. So what we're gonna do is, since I uh, sprayed a little bit too much on there, we're just gonna reassemble in the reverse order. You know, push down the Teflon ring. It'll be a little tight at the base, so you just wanna walk it down. There, it plopped on. Then what we do is put the larger O-ring right after that. Roll it around, get the grease that's on the axle on that. Now we're ready to assemble. It's that simple. So we're gonna drop the pedal body on it. Push down a little bit, give it a wiggle. Now for the outside, the smaller uh, rings. So we're gonna put rubber inside. And over top of that is gonna be the Teflon ring. Now the Teflon ring is just like the base ring. You gotta walk it down. Use your fingernails. Now it's sticking up a little bit. So this is what you guys gotta do. Uh, if I find my tool, this right here is just like a cut quarter inch uh, piece of tube. It slides in perfectly, this is kind of how we designed it, to go into the pedal body. Now, the Teflon ring is a little stiff, so you just press it down with your hand. And what we're going to do now is do some barbaric hammering. <laughs> just grab whatever you can. i got a mallet here, so I'm going to tap in. Give it a little tap. You want that uh, Teflon ring to be flush. Because it's Teflon, it's not going to compress like the uh, rubber. So, now what we got to do is put on the rings, the washers. So, this is the flat washer. I'm going to put that on over top. Because we're in mass production, we uh, made a little tool here because we got to do this so much in a day. Oh, those are the old ones. I'm going to grab fresh poodle clips. The clips will last forever, but I'm just putting new everything on. So, just push them on like this. You guys gotta find something just to, to push it on, keep it stable. 
But uh, just be careful of where they go because they tend to fly off. Now this is the uh, frisbee going back on. This entombs the first one. So this is what you call a double redundancy system. Uh, for some whatever reason, you lose a clip. These are really strong custom clips. They reach beyond the axle and grab. So I'm going to push that on. And you may have some resistance because the Teflon ring isn't one to squash down. That one went on pretty good. Now if you were to lose that outer uh, clip, the disc will fall off and underneath that's a secondary clip ready to go so your rod doesn't end. Super clever, isn't it? <laughs> now this pedal may rotate slow, which it does, nice and smooth. This actually is a little stiffer, but when you put it on your bike, ride it for 20 minutes, the uh, Teflon rings will settle into place and you're good to go. That is a rebuild on a 07, 06 straight line components platform pedal. That's it.